Hey guys, I'm here back with another math video. Today we're going to be doing some basic derivatives and uh, there's a lot of resources online like Khan Academy. I know they have some good derivative videos. Uh, we're just going to cover the basics today so you know what a derivative is. So uh, when we reference them in calculus problems, you won't get confused. So without further ado, let's get started. So uh, here's a graph of a function, some arbitrary function we can call fx. A derivative, which is usually defined in the notation of f prime of x, or you might see like uh, if you say y equals uh, x, uh, you might have like d over dx of this function. This also references to like uh, a deriv what a derivative is. So yeah, these are some basic notations, so you know what like a derivative when you see one. But really, people use this uh, this thing or d over d of x, which just means. Uh, a derivative uh, with respect to x, so you're taking the derivative of the terms with x in it with respect to x, um, but we'll get into that later. So a derivative is basically a function defining that given this function, uh, what is the slope of the tangent uh, of, of a point on this function? So let's say, let's say here we have uh, x, we have some kind of x here, and uh, Let's say that at that x, we want to find what the slope is. At this point right here, we want to find what the slope is. And some of you may be confused because you usually need two points to find the slope. After all, you need two points, and you connect them, and you do like rise over run or whatever the heck, and you find the slope in the graph. But with derivatives, you need to find the graph of the tangent line. What is this slope at that one point? And at, well, uh, the function of x here, f of x, will give you this graph. f prime of x, if you plug in x, if you plug in any x, will give you the slope of this point where x is. It will give you the uh, formula for the slope. So how do you do this? How do you calculate this slope without, uh, without you know, only one point? So you usually calculate slope with two points. Okay, so let's try that. So let's say let's say we have uh, these two points. Okay, and this here is uh, oops, I'll erase that. This here is actually x, and if you go here, this is x plus delta x, and delta just means change in x, and this is delta x. Okay. And what is delta x? Delta x is, uh, so usually the slope will be, if this is a and b, uh, slope is a over b. So uh, delta x is just b. And um, the rise, the rise, or a, we should say, is just, so this point, this point right here, this point right here is defined by x plus delta x comma function x plus delta x because remember that x coordinate is just uh, just x plus delta x and the y coordinate if this is a function will just be the function of that because you just plug into the function so this the, the height of this point will be f x plus delta x and if you go here this will just be x f x and that's that's the function of this that's the uh, coordinates of this point so this this right here uh, uh, will be f of x so if you want to find the rise you want to find a if this is b if you want to find a a is just equal to f x plus well function of x plus delta x minus f of x because it's just the higher one minus the lower one or the lower one it all depends it could be negative so yeah this is this is what a is and if you want to find slope a over b is just equal to this over delta x because b is delta x. See, this is just uh, this thing right here. So this is our formula. This is our formula for finding slope with a given x and a given change in x. Now, this is given two points, right? Well, the problem with uh, with finding the tangent, like this thing right here, we only have one point. But that doesn't mean we can't do it because all it means is that delta x is 0. But you know you can't divide by zero because delta x is here. So actually, we sort of cheat a bit, and we actually do limit as delta x approaches zero. 
So as delta x, x is approaching zero, what does that slope sort of approach? What does that sort of become? You know, we're not technically dividing by zero, but you know, we sort of are. So, um, so limit as x approaches zero, f x plus delta x minus f x over delta x. And this function, this will give a function. This is a function. This will pop. Okay, put in put in a function. Uh, given this function right here, this this right here is f prime of x. This right here is f prime of x. Okay, this is f prime of x. Okay, it's this is the derivative. This is what we call a derivative, which means that if we have we if we're given an x in this function, if we're given an x, we can plug. We can also plug. Uh, we can plug that x into f prime of x, and it'll spit out the slope at that point. Um, with uh, on fx on the graph of fx. So let's calculate. Um, let's let's have an example. So I'll get I'll erase all this uh, just to make it clear. I can see you guys are, might be a bit confused. So let's say we have a graph. Let's make it easy. Um, I'm gonna try this tool, but I haven't used it before. No, that's not what I want. Um, actually, I can do that. We'll just do. Oh, I have an idea. We'll do it like this. And okay, perfect. That's really bad. But that's actually incredibly bad. But y I guess you guys get the idea. Say, let's let's just imagine for a sec that this uh, this is x squared. Okay. I need to really label my axes. Now this is f squared. F, f, x is x squared. How do we find the derivative of this? And remember, the derivative, of, the derivative of this just defines the slope at any point on here. So like that's the tangent, I guess. I can't really draw it because the lines are too straight. But you get the idea. Okay, so we have the equation. So we know that f prime of x equals function uh, x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. We have this function as uh, limit delta x approaches zero. How do we calculate this? So we know function is x squared, right? So let's just plug in the function first. So x plus delta x. So f prime of x is. Oh, I always forget notation, notation. This squared minus x squared over delta x. Because we just uh, we know the function is x squared, so we just replace these f's with x squared, right? We just plug these values into x squared. So of course we have that, which is x squared plus uh, 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus x squared over delta x. And remember, we want to sort of get rid of the denominator because this denominator is what's making us divide by 0. So let's just keep going x so uh, these two x squares cancel out right x squared minus x squared so that's just that's just I'm gonna take out I'm gonna leave this out because you guys get the idea that's limit so 2x delta x plus delta x squared all right what do we get well what's interesting here is that the x squared cancels out which means that both these terms have a delta x in them so yeah sorry I'm moving back so if we just factor out delta x we get 2x plus delta x over delta x. And what's really cool is that these two just cancel out. And you're just left with 2x plus delta x. So this, uh, well, I should have the limit now. Because that's important. Well, you'll see why. So this, this thing is equal to this thing. And I'm sort of a messy, I'm sort of, I'm sort of a messy work guy. So yeah, that's what this is, okay? So this is what we're left with. Now, now is where we end it, okay? Now we can now we can finally so we have two x plus delta x and delta x uh <laughs> delta x approaches zero. So delta x approaches zero and this is this is just zero. So which equals two x. So we did it. So if fx equals x squared, f prime of x equals 2x which I think is really cool you know what that means right that means that means if your teacher asks you uh, find the t find the slope of this point right here this tangent to this point right here it's just 2x so if this is like 6 
and this is like 36 and this point is just 636 this exact slope this exact slope will just be 2 uh whoops 2x which is just 2 times 6 which is 12 at this exact point i think that's like super cool i mean it's really useful in calculus and it's really good, really going to be useful in life this is the type of thing that applies in physics it applies uh, it applies in computer science graphic design it applies everywhere so make sure you really get a hold of derivatives um, you can basically solve anything with the with this formula I'll write it down again uh, you can basically solve any derivative with this formula as long as you know the tricks there are some shortcuts which I'm sure which I'm sure you'll learn because we'll probably use them in videos but this is the this is the hardcore method of bashing out any derivative uh, that you'll ever find so just memorize that and I think uh, that's all so hopefully you learn what a derivative is and I'll see you next week in the next video bye will be somewhere around there I guess um, so if you want to find the true direction of the plane the actual direction after you put the wind in uh, all you really have to do is uh, find the addition of these two vectors because uh, the direction vector of the plane and then you add on the direction vector of the wind with uh, both their magnitudes added together like 30 kilometers per hour and 360 kilometers per hour and using this point the new point